<laughs> Texas A&M. <laughs> look, hey, look what Texas A&M paid seventy million dollars for. Why is this? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Texas A&M paid seventy million dollars for that. Seventy million dollars. They out of seventy million dollars. I think this has to be the great one of the greatest scams ever perpetrated on any university is what Jimbo Fool Stamp as Fisher pulled on Texas A&M. But oh well, I told them. I told them. They didn't listen. I said, do not hire Jimbo Fisher. I said, he's overrated. I said, when he left Florida A&M, he left it destroyed. He left it pillaged. They didn't even have a leaf in a tree when he left. And Texas A&M imported they imported that garbage and then paid it seven seventy million dollars and then the dude who paid him the seventy million dollars his ass ends up at LSU and that's where you begin to see LSU the decline of LSU is under the same dude who's responsible for the decline of Texas A&M that's all I'm gonna say same athletic director is responsible for the demise of both of these programs, and ain't nobody gonna say shit about it, right? Number one, because they're white. So that alone makes them off limits for criticisms, but fuck that. Because if that was a black dude, his ass would have been fired, especially if he's connected to the failure of two programs. This is two major programs that's affected by the same athletic director. Okay? Yeah, and LSU don't bounce back from the shit, but. You know, look, look, look what's happened. Look what has happened to Texas and M though. Well, they weird ass cool. <laughs> but anyway, they ain't none of my business. But that's what 70 million, 80 million guaranteed. 80 million dollars guaranteed for look at the record. That's what they get from recycling the same tired ass coaches over and over. Give somebody else a chance at this privileged cushion ass job.